What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, I wanted to propose this question. I know we talked about recently uh, Damian Priest maybe potentially winning at this year's uh, SummerSlam against Gunther, um, only because of how it looks like they may be setting up things with uh, how Gunther, you know, was talking to Damian Priest. And, and we all know Damian Priest's story on how far he's come in his life to get to where he is. And, you know, Gunther basically downplaying that in a in a very good heel fashion. I really do appreciate that. There was people that was thinking there's a good chance he may not, uh, uh, Gunther may not win at SummerSlam, but most likely at Bash in Berlin. And then there was a good, uh, a bit of y'all that were saying, no, there's a good chance he still will win at SummerSlam. So we'll see how things play out. But I wanted to talk to y'all and really expound on one part of Gunther's promo that is in relation to this video. Gunther said specifically in the in the promo that your title reign hasn't really been, I guess you can say, memorable or good in a sense. And I've seen some people when we were watching it live on Monday Night Raw saying, is Gunther wrong though? I mean, he, he Gunther's spot on with that. And I wanted to kind of propose this question. Have y'all enjoyed Damian Priest's title reign so far? Um... To be honest with you, he's only faced not even that many people. I mean, granted, you know, WrestleMania is not that long ago, but he's faced Jay Uso for the title. He's faced uh, Drew McIntyre for the title. And then he faced Seth Rollins for the title. And then Drew got involved in the match with the money in the bank and became a, a three-way, uh, a triple threat match. And obviously he won all of those matches. And then, of course, him cashing in at WrestleMania this year. Um Really, to be honest with you, Drew's been on the short end of the stick when it comes to Damian Priest, if you really want to think about it. But to be honest, is he hasn't really faced too many opponents so far. Um, I don't I wouldn't necessarily say his title reign has been bad. I'm not gonna get up there and say his title reign has been bad. I've I've seen a lot of people say uh it's been boring, it's mid, or whatever you want to say, but I wouldn't personally say it's been bad. I think the one thing that you could possibly pinpoint could that could be a problem here is he kind of his title reigns have felt like an afterthought in the sense of the feud surrounding his title reign. Obviously, Drew has been one of the 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 focal points of his title reign so far. He cashed in on Drew, which we understood made sense um the one-on-one -on -one with jay was a cool moment but that was in spite of drew not getting that re his you know getting his chance at the title because of cm punk so jay ended up winning that number one contenders match to face damian priest so once again the drew and cm punk storyline kind of revolves around that even with the cash in then you go to clash at the castle and once again the you know towards the end of that match it involved more so the CM Punk and Drew McIntyre thing revolving around. We knew that was it was going to come back up to it. And then the same thing happened at Money in the Bank. It's really been the CM Punk and Drew McIntyre feud that's kind of overshadowed the actual championship matches. And not to say that they weren't good matches. It's just we know towards the end. CM Punk's going to get involved. There's going to be some shenanigans. Even with Seth Rollins being in the match, and I, I like what Seth was trying to do. Put more, you know, when they added Seth into the mix, they were putting more focus on just the match itself. Like, they were putting more focus on the championship, the match itself, and Damian Priest as a, as a person in his character. You can see Seth was, you know, the way they're telling the story, Wanting to see if Damian Priest can get the job done by himself without Judgment Day. You know, essentially trying to get that baby face turn, which ultimately that's what they're going to do. And I really enjoyed that. I love what they were doing there with Damian Priest in a sense. But the majority of his title reign has been secondary to the biggest feud in the company, which right now, which understandably, but you, you got to find a fine balance and i think everyone has been more focused on the cm punk and drew stuff that's been integrated into the the title scene 
and more or less than Damian Priest as the champion. And I do appreciate that they really focus a little bit more on that with Seth Rollins. And I think that's the route they're going to do with Gunther, which is another reason why I feel like there's a good chance he will still retain because they're trying to really focus in solely on him being the champion and not any other extra feuds behind that. So I'm glad they've kind of gotten away from Drew, CM Punk, uh, I think Seth at the moment. They're going to be more focused on Gunther and Damian Priest, which I'm, I'm all for. So I do think that's kind of hindered the people's perception of this championship reign so far being memorable only because or memorable or good only because of the surrounding feuds uh, around him. Now, there are... Um, some situations where I feel like with Damian Priest, especially with his promo deliveries, I feel like they they come off a little bit too rehearsed. There's moments like in the backstage segments where he feels more natural, where he feels it 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 seems better. Like it, he seems more natural in some of those Judgment Day uh, segments, especially with Dominic and Rhea and that whole the live situation. Um, there was one moment when uh, I think it was Drew in the ring and it was Gunther in the ring. And I, I was liking, you know, how Damian Priest was holding himself there. And even there was one moment with Drew and Damian Priest and how personal it was getting there, too. I do feel like and I don't know if, you know, promos, just being able to come up with promos for himself is the you know the his strong suit so that may not be the case but it also depends on the 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 delivery and i think because we're gonna have this gunther feud and gunther seems very believable with what he says and he's so condescending i think it's going to work even if you paid attention to it when he was going against gunther in this promo battle essentially and gunther was just tearing him down like he's just trash and nothing the crowd was really getting behind Damian Priest. And he wasn't saying anything too wild or crazy, but the crowd was getting behind him because now they have that extra motivation to get behind the guy because he's he's had to work his ass off to get to where he is. And we got Gunther, who's this, you know, turns his nose up to everybody else. He looks at every he looks down upon everybody. So maybe if they can really keep this up maybe it will help change a little bit of people's perception of Damian Priest as you know someone that can hold their own on a microphone not saying that he's inherently bad but some of the stuff he says you know it doesn't land it comes off kind of dry and mono monotone and once again I've seen this conversation being had since Damian Priest has had the championship you know I've seen it you know and I don't know I I, I want to say that Triple H and management is, is giving him, you know, the best opportunity and they, they really have faith in him. The guy can go in the ring. He's not bad by any means. I don't think he's had really a bad match in my personal opinion. Yes, he's had some things that's happened in his, you know, title reign in the matches where there were, you know, kind of, you know, some few botches and things that <clears throat> obviously <clears throat> can take away from the match. But me personally, I don't think his title reign is inherently bad i just think his title reign is stuck in a situation where there's other stories around him that involve the title to an extent that's overshadowing it that's my personal thing so recently it started to pick up just a little bit where they're focusing more on damian priest as champion but we'll see so i want to get y'all opinion i want to know how do y'all feel about Damian Priest's title reign so far? Have y'all been enjoying it? Has it been mid to you, middle of the road? Or have you not liked it at all and you want the title off him as soon as SummerSlam comes around? Y'all let me know. I want to get y'all opinions on, you know, how y'all feel about this title reign so far. And if there is anything that you would improve, if you could, what would it be uh, to improve his improve his title reign but i appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace